Hello, I'm Father Mark and I'm shrinking. Welcome to the coffee table where you get some valuable information and some absolutely worthless information. For instance, did you know that a cubic inch of bone can bear the weight of five standard pickup trucks? John, that gives you some insight into why my mom keeps calling me bonehead. Banco para bancos is going well. We currently have $15,061 out of $45,000 for the pews at Santo Toribio Romo. We've got $29,939 to go. I'll write you a check. If you want to sponsor a pew, the price sheet is on the screen. You can pause the video now and view that if you're interested. To donate online, the link is, yes, it's in the description at the bottom of your screen. Youth group this week, May 2nd, 6 p.m. drop-off, 8 p.m. pickup at the church building for Eucharistic exposition and praise and worship, then games and food in the social hall. Eucharistic exposition and praise and worship is open to anyone. You don't have to be a youth. And no youth group on May 9th because it's Mother's Day, and all of our youth should be with their mothers. The backpack program is in need of the following donations, Chef Boyardee individual containers, mac and cheese, ramen noodles, tuna, or canned chicken. Guess what? Now that we've gotten it all figured out, we have new seating procedures at Mass. The Diocese of Orlando has just released new guidance related to COVID-19 precautions and seating for Mass. Beginning with the morning Mass at Blessed Sacrament on Monday, May 3rd, all those attending in-person Masses at both Blessed Sacrament and at Santo Trivio Romo will be asked to seat themselves rather than be seated by a minister of hospitality. At Blessed Sacrament, one side of the church will remain partially roped off and the other side will be completely open and available for seating. Chair placement will remain the same at Santo Trivio as we await installation of pews. Please seat yourselves where you are comfortable while taking the safety and comfort of others into account. We enter this new phase with trust in the guidance of our bishop and the joyful hope for the future. We would like to add a Saturday morning 8.30 a.m. Mass at our Blessed Sacrament campus, but before we can do that, we need ministers of hospitality and extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion and the sacristan to serve at these Masses. If you are able to help and you want to, please contact Kevin Feltman by email or by calling the parish office. We're really happy to be preparing for this additional opportunity to encounter Christ's true presence. Well, that's all, folks. Please continue your prayers for each other. I'm out of town this week. I'll see you later.